Okay, so this is my Siemens AQ8. Uh, in comparison with Siemens AQ7 or Sense Plus, uh, this is almost exactly the same model as the latest uh, software or, or user interface. How do you call it? Uh, the only difference is maybe the milk uh, thinky color and that it has some yeah, different design and easier to open uh, magnetical uh, magnetical holdings but in principle is the the same model maybe just a little bit nicer yeah <clears throat> um, in this video i think i will show uh, yeah i'll insert the main def main defect of this what what i have right now is this uh, um control knob when you spin it it jumps through in one or other direction so this is the main thing why so this is the main thing why i'm uh, repairing it but uh, i will go through some of the maintenance points as well in this video so uh check it out i think it will be quite useful uh the other thing okay yeah, so take it out if uh, to tear it down it's quite simply the same you first take off this back cover then both sides uh this this uh, coffee holding tray and then the top cover so this you can see in my other video for siemens aq7 this assembly or maybe i will film it as well so maybe someone will find it useful and yeah so i will resume this video and i will uh, take off all of these uh, parts so for my own uh, reference and then for anyone who is doing this uh, the housing should be taken apart a little bit differently so uh, I think first you should remove the coffee uh, grinding because um, yeah uh, let's say this part additionally it has two screws in it that you need to take off and then when you if you would just try to open up it you would see that it has all of these parts has a little lip that is behind this top cover I just right now just ripped it up uh, but yeah if you know then you just slide it open somehow i forgot i already had it open once and i forgot about this yeah so so first you need to take off the uh, coffee uh, holder then slide open the top cover and then taking off all these sides will be much easier okay yeah then let's continue so okay so to unclip this front cover uh, you will need uh, to unclip these uh, three one two and three i don't know how it's called uh, plastic pieces be very careful with them they break quite easily and yeah then to take off the cover you would need to disassemble somehow this this piece um, to take off the cover it's easy uh, from the bottom you have three places to unhook it and, and it comes off uh, yeah this is a little bit different from AQ7 as well you have just uh, this uh, this thing, not a whole big plastic uh, piece that uh, uh, clips in in Siemens AQ7. But yeah, but this one, um, yeah, when you take off this one, then somehow it should be that you should pull it down. Maybe there are some two uh, holding clips as well inside, but I don't want to force it, so I thought that I just. For this specific problem i will just go from inside and i will remove and un unhook the cables and this one 
queue behind the, this cable there is another uh, um, clip that uh, after uh, unhooking them maybe some even on these sides one two i will be able to take out the whole uh, uh, pcb uh, that's our goal additionally what i will do uh, when you already um, disassemble it to the stage i will remove this upper cover uh, to get access to the grinding motor and check its uh, oh, how it's called check its uh, motor uh, okay yeah so you have to unhook fee for uh, plastic uh, pieces that hold it in place very, again very careful with these two they are quite uh, easy to break and just slowly slowly lift them up and then i just ripped it open mm, not sure where are the second uh, plastic pieces that hold it but i think this uh, here these are the ones one and two and three four five okay so but yeah when i was uh, unhooked these four it was easy to open up and this is the display that came out again only four pieces that need to be taken care of it's here here and well, one and one more i think where was the one more uh, Okay, so one in here, it's not, you will not be able to see, but okay, here, the bottom ones are one and two, one and two. So two up, uh, two up on the sides and two down. And then you can take out the whole, uh, whole, whole display unit that's responsible for this misbehaving. And yeah, and then when you take off the top cover, you get access to the motor carbon brushes yes that's the word i was missing i forgot then we take out or unhook the cable um principle you can lift it up already now and i'll see okay i will take out the motor and give you a close-up and uh, yeah then you can of course clean it very good because usually here is quite a lot of coffee uh, rests and and even some yeah, molds so that's that's what you get with uh, fully automatic coffee machines there are a lot of places that are difficult to clean and yeah it gets moldy okay um, to split up the housing there is a lot of clips again all on plastic clips in this machine and you have to again be careful with these ones they break easily lift it only enough to slide it out so in this point we already can inspect the brushings here is how it looks on mine I'll take out the motor okay so first you need to pull into this direction and then you can lift it up more or less easily okay so we have one doesn't want to focus okay here you have one brush and the second one i will take it out to compare with the new ones so you could get impression of if it's in this position what kind of uh, consumption of, of the brushes and yeah afterwards when you take it out you can blow it out with compressed air just to yeah, have less of this this carbon disposal in the motor and yeah okay and here we have the brushes so these two are new ones these two are from my motor right now and these two are from a motor from a friend that I replaced so so um, five or, or six clips you unclip them take out uh, don't forget to, to pull out this one just pull it out 
uh, then you unclip these clips, uh, remove this uh, socket, and then you can remove it from this uh, cable. And yeah, now you have the board to work it. Uh, what you need to do is you need to unsolder here one, two, three, four, five points, and then you can take out this um, encoder out. Okay, so I will continue when the encoder is out. Okay, as we have it removed, uh, we can we can uh, unclip these three clips and we can disassemble it. And inside, you will find these parts and yeah, just clean it with, with alcohol and, and some uh, Q-tips or, or some some paper and then assemble assemble everything. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, some or let's say I I like to add some silicon grease. I think this silicon grease assembles the uh, humidity and and that's why the problem starts. But still, I think without it the these these pins could uh, tear the metal uh, even worse. So I add the silicon uh, grease in there and assemble everything back. That's it. Okay, so the last update on how to disassemble it. I would so okay now uh, first you need to take off the this holder, then you need to slide open top cover. Afterwards, unscrew the two screws and uh, remove the this this side, then the back side, and then this side, and then you have full access. Okay, I think this is the last update on this AQ8 coffee machine.